who who gonna tell me otherwise? Who's gonna fight me? This is my hair. It's growing out of my scalp. You know, that's just what it is. She wanna woo, nigga. She wanna fight with the woo. Welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos nuevamente a mi canal. My name is Ayandra. If you guys didn't know who I am, well, my name is Ayandra. What's up? What's good? So in today's video, I will be installing this curly unit from Victoria's Wigs. Shout out to them sponsoring today's video. Um, I worked with them in the past with a short bob uh, situation. I will have the video linked somewhere up here if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, I started talking in this video and then I decided I just wanted to do a voice a voice over and like speed through it because I've done this exact method on my channel before like nothing really changed except for the hair So I was like, you know what? Let me just do a quick voiceover and just speed through this with you guys, you know so you can hear it. Like it's really simple really straightforward So yeah, so if you guys want to see how I installed this unit that looks like my hair because at this point this is my hair okay keep on watching <laughs> before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notification so you don't miss another video from me and let's get into the video okay so um in today's video i will be applying a i want to say a similar wig to this it's another curly wig you guys know i live for my curly hair so today's unit is from Victoria's Wig. As you guys know, I've worked with them in the past, like I worked with them before, uh, with a short, uh, it's a short bob, like a bob wig, highlighter bob. I will have it linked somewhere up here. Yeah, so it comes in this cute little package. You guys have seen this before on my channel, so this is nothing new. If you haven't seen that video, then go watch it. I already took the hair out, but the hair comes in this cute little bag and then you get a bag like this I already have one that I actually use a lot it comes in really handy to keep all my uh, wig stuff here like in one place inside of this you have wig cap you have some more wig cap in a different color this is a darker color so they send you both colors like light the lighter one and the darker one which is great you get a rectal comb then you have a little edge brush uh, last time I believe I got a pink one and now I got this blue one which is real cute it's like a baby blue you have this little brush that you use to kind of uh, what is it called perfect your parting or at least that's what I will use it for and then you also get a little tweezer and this is the curly unit that I got as you guys can see it's super full and it's heavy like it's fluffy and I like that it's a curly unit I just like it to be full uh, the frontal seems to be pre plucked from what I could see it kind of sort of looks like it is pre plucked a little bit so the construction is basically it comes with added adjustable straps which I think is great because then I don't have to sew those on so that's great it comes with these it comes with the regular adjustable straps as well a comb in the back this comb is really wide here you guys see how wide it is and then you have one comb on each side and then you have one in the center which is this one so that's basically the construction of the hair it's a lace front wig I think it's a 13 by 6 or 13 by 4 I'm not sure I will have all the specs somewhere on the screen so to bleach the knots you're going to need a little bowl i do have a video where it's like a little bit more detailed on like how i bleach the knots and stuff like that but i'm still going to show you guys so you have your little bowl and your little uh brush you need your bleach and I'm just using these i didn't think i was going to work so much with wigs while being here but these i literally just use it to bleach the knots like i don't i don't do hair like that you know so i'm just using one of these so that's a little powder and then I'm using this developer right here this is the trans I don't know how to pronounce that it's a 30 volume developer hmm I don't wanna I don't wanna make too much and then end up not using it so we're taking about this amount I'm not taking that much so then I'm taking the cream developer and I'm just going to eyeball it to be honest that's normally just what I do 
about like this and then take my brush and I start mixing and I don't want the consistency to be too too thick but just thick enough you know not too thick but not too loose like watery so I want it to be a little bit thicker than this I don't want it to be runny so I'm gonna add a little bit more um, a little bit more powder so now I'm going to just apply the bleach on the lace so I just fold the wig like this and then I just start applying the bleach onto the lace okay so this is basically what the wig looks like right now with the bleach um, added to the lace like while that uh, you know processes and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and remove this wig and prepare my head for the application so I bleached the knots I look crazy <laughs> But I washed out the bleach from the wig and I did all that. So I'm going to fix my wig cap and I'm just going to speed through this. I'm not going to talk because I have already videos on this, how I do it and all that stuff. So I'm just going to speed through this whole process. You guys can just chill, relax and watch me, you know, do my thing. okay guys so here i'm putting on my wig and as you guys see i'm using the added adjustable straps and the regular adjustable straps and then i just pushed the wig down and i'm not gonna lie this took me a good 20 to 30 minutes to figure out because this wig was way 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 too big for my head so i was just like damn i don't want to cut too much because i just like i don't know i don't like cutting my wigs like that when they're like too big i'm like oh i'm afraid to like mess it up but after I figured it out, I decided that obviously I had to cut some ear tabs to make it fit my head. But I did end up removing the adjustable straps that came added to the wig. So I'm currently just using the original adjustable straps that come that come with the wig and um, no extra adjustable straps. So as you guys can see, I'm being really careful to make sure that I'm cutting in the right place. You don't want to cut it too high up, but you don't want to cut it too low because if you cut it too low, it's going to irritate your ear. And if you cut it too high, well, you're not going to be able to do certain um, updos and stuff like that if you're planning on doing it. So just take your time and be careful when you're cutting your ear tabs and make sure that your wig is placed exactly where you're supposed to glue it down. So you're satisfied with the placement of the wig. Uh, and then you just go ahead and you cut it off and as you guys can see my ear appeared um, So yeah, but I really liked like I knew right away as soon as I put the wig on my head that This application was gonna be fire because of how the lace looks like it just looks really seamless As you guys can see right here, I'm spraying some hairspray onto the hair to push it back so there's no hairs in the way for me to um, glue down the lace and when I'm combing it you guys can see how seamless and natural the hairline looks perfect I kind of 
over bleached the knots a little bit but not in the front it was just kind of in the back which i don't mind so it's whatever so then i'm doing the same thing that i always do i cut the lace into sections and then i start applying my lace glue and when i'm applying my lace glue onto to the wig cap i'm literally applying i want to say not 50 50 but like 60 40 so 60 percent of the glue is going on the lace cap on the wig cap and the remaining is going on my forehead i try to keep it i try to keep my forehead as clean of product as possible and that also includes the lace glue and i did two coats then i'm just pushing the wig forward and i'm pushing it down while i'm pressing the wig down with the comb and right here as you guys can see i'm using the actual comb like teeth i guess i don't know to comb the hair back and at the same time i'm pushing it down towards my scalp well towards my forehead i guess i'm actually putting some pressure to it making sure that it's melting So basically I just went ahead and did this whole process throughout my whole head and now I'm going to cut the lace and as you guys can see do you guys see how flawless this is though like come on now the lace looks impeccable I love it I really really love this lace so I'm using the little eyebrow razor to cut my lace just because it gives me the most flawless finish and the most natural look and as you guys can see uh, what I've been doing lately when I apply my wigs is that I'm cutting uh, all the way up to the hair. I'm leaving absolutely no lace without hairs on my forehead. I used to do that before. I used to like leave some a little bit of lace for the baby hairs to lay down, but I, but that didn't really fulfill my soul. Okay, baby, no. So now, as you guys can see, I'm cutting all the way up close to the hair, so there's absolutely no lace without any hairs on my forehead and now i'm just gonna do my baby hairs and i'm just let you guys watch so yeah i am really pleased with this application i think it came out bomb let me know what you guys think So right here, I'm just testing how the hair looks when it's up and it just looks so flawless and natural. Then I'm going to tie down my baby hairs a little bit just to let them kind of, you know, sit and like marinate <laughs> while I brush out the hair. In this bottle, I have water with a little bit of leave-in conditioner. So that's basically what I'm spraying onto the hair. And the hair was so soft, like no tangles. It was so easy to just like, you know, get the curls popping. Like I didn't even put so much water in it. It just was like a little bit. It just looks so freaking good. Okay, so I'm back and it's um a couple hours later i'm not gonna lie but as you guys see i did my makeup i did my makeup off camera well basically i didn't do my makeup off camera the video for this makeup look will be up on my instagram by the time you guys see this video so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look then you know head over to my ig and you can watch it there but yeah so i did my makeup and i got myself together a little bit for the outro of this video you know this is the hair basically air dried and I kind of touched it a little bit as you guys can see the curls kind of faded here a little bit but I like it messy like that like I don't want I don't want like super perfect curls anyways so yeah but I am super 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 pleased with how this came out like at this point this is my hair who, who gonna tell me otherwise who's gonna fight me this is my hair is growing out of my scalp you know that's just what it is I'm definitely living my childhood uh, dream so I always wanted to have curls exactly like this but you know I wasn't as fortunate I was blessed with some other type of hair 
but that's fine too that's fine too yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this uh wig install shout out to victoria's wigs for sponsoring today's video for sending me this bomb unit i'm really really pleased with it and if you guys want to check this hair out i will have i will have all the links in the description bar down below and yeah tell them i sent you okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe and watch another video you know watch another video because why not and i'll see you guys in the next one bye